have to say, with this episode of one, it really shows that the competition is a lot more than it may seem. Hello everyone, it is I, Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen here, bringing you guys an awesome review of one, episode four, Walls. Now, I know you guys may be wondering why there is a review video instead of a reaction video, unlike the previous three me and my friends reacted to. Well, I accidentally deleted the video from my laptop thinking it was another video that I didn't need anymore. But don't worry, the other episodes of our reactions have not, and I repeat, have not been deleted and will be uploaded to the channel soon. As I wanted to go over thoughts and recap the episode, giving more in depth with my rating on this episode as a whole, as this episode had a lot going for it with having hints towards what is going to happen in later episodes. So starting with the entire recap of the episode, we start off with a one minute long intro with no pun intended as we see a si only a single piece of grass on the plane. As we then cut to airline food sentient backpack asking what was happening while Abstracty was about to be eliminated. He had been shapeshifting into another object, not being one of the contestants we've seen so far, but one that we don't know, which looked to be an old lamp from the looks of it, but wasn't able to fully flesh out before Aerie eliminated him, meaning that Abstracty was possibly trying to warn them of something with the lamp we haven't seen just yet. As everyone recovers from the drama of Abstracty's elimination, the next challenge starts off with Backpack getting Soda Ball up and not caring about the challenge at all, and telling Backpack to make sure that Stony doesn't pull anything weird after having Senti put on to a different team in the last episode. With the next challenge being to draw on sticky notes, seeing which team draws the best, beginning with the teams getting their supplies and Lunch Tray breaking her team's pencil saying, why did all the kids say this is so hard to do? As we then see an eager Stony quickly drawing while hastily grabbing every sticky note that spawns in for his team while Backpack doesn't want him doing the whole challenge for them, taking control like he did putting Senti on another team. But Sony then gives Backpack what he was drawing, which wasn't drawings at all, but rather notes Backpack tries to confront him about this. But Stony takes back the note and continues writing. When Aerie announces that they only have a minute left, Stony hastily hurries, writing all of his notes, finishing them. Backpack asks if he could see them as Stony proceeds to run off looking for any unused sticky notes to write on. Seeing that Sensi's team didn't write anything on theirs, tried to take them as Sensi told him not to. When time is up, Stony ran back in a mad dash to his team, putting all of his notes inside a backpack for safekeeping, while he was confused why Stony did that in the first place. As Aerie then saw everyone's drawings, seeing that Senti and Backpack's team didn't draw anything, but with Aerie not being able to find Backpack's team sticky notes, they were up for elimination. While Senti got into an argument with the fact that her team should have been up for elimination since Backpack's team did write on their sticky notes, but Aerie didn't see it. As the arguing continues, the credits roll in, but it isn't until after the scene where Stony takes the sticky notes that Senti's team didn't use while a noise that sounds like a fan is playing in the background getting louder as he hastily hurries to write down what he needs to write down. As Airy says that he's about to eliminate someone, Stony proceeds to rip what he wrote, throwing it into the air just as he was eliminated. With Backpack and Soda Bottle in shock as they go over to see what he wrote, being, votes are fake, you have no control. With this episode, I feel like it really started to show the turning point in the series since Sony's first appearance in the last episode, just showing that this is a lot different than other object competitions such as Inanimate Insanity and Battle for Dream Island, but also many others. Showing that Aerie is possibly someone very different than other hosts, making the viewers not have any control on how the show is going down. But with this episode, I felt it gave more on the characters like Abstracty and Stony, As with the previous episode, we saw that Abstracty could shapeshift into different objects such as Backpack and Moldy copying their voices and being in a quote unquote abstract state, but seeing how he transformed into an object we haven't seen yet makes you wonder just what he really knew. While with Stony, we all know he can't speak considering the fact that he has no mouth, but he did know sign language even though no one else knew sign language. 
as he knows everything that has happened will happen in the entire universe as he has led on. He knows there is more to the competition than it seems from what the others could tell. As just with the sudden build-up of lore from this episode and the previous episode really shows that there is a lot more going on in the universe of one. But also with the competition getting to Senti, eagerly wanting to be able to just go home already. But the way she tried to tell Aerie that she saw a backpacks team to in fact draw something, as hey, even I would want to be able to go home if I were dragged into a competition like this against my will. The pacing end of the episode felt really just with that one minute intro, no pun intended, yet again you guys, along with the timing of Abstracty's elimination, but also the competition itself, the way things were going normally until more was happening, and then the final scene of the episode really giving it that dramatic effect. The music overall was pretty definitely awesome for this episode, as just like Chloe always says, it's definitely amazing. The OST. But, and I would have to overall give this episode 100 out of 10 for how good it was, as this is just part of the beginning of the chaos that is yet to ensue. But hey, that's just a theory. A film theory, even though I'm not mad at and this isn't even film theory. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys are hyped for mine and Chloe's actual and Marcy's reaction to the next episode of one. But alright, so like always, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button for more awesome content in the future. Just like this, and make sure to click that notification bell down below for my latest videos and updates. And make sure to head into Patreon or the YouTube membership to help support my college classes to help support the channel. But yeah, I'm Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen, and I'm signing off.